Dee, 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 dee. How are we doing, ladies and gents, boys and girls? Welcome back to another fun episode of Tom's Flair Bartending Tips. Tips. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to start with working flair, and I'm going to show you a couple of moves along the way. Tom Dyer! So today I'm going to be teaching you how to start with working flair. It is a broad, big subject. So first of all, I'm going to tell you what is working flair. Well, it does exactly what it says on the tin, basically. It's flair whilst you're working. So it's creating moves or tricks or movements or whatever it may be, flourishes to improve your cocktail making technique or your service behind the bar whilst you're making drinks. If we're talking about competitions, when we're talking about working flair, we're talking about bottles which are basically half full. So this bottle is about half full. Um, most of the major competitions, when they say you need to use a working flare bottle, they're talking about a bottle which has a lot of alcohol or a lot of liquid in it. Now, just sticking with competitions for a second, if we're talking about exhibition flare, then we're talking about a bottle which only has between half a shot to a shot's worth of liquid. So that's about 15 milliliters or uh, half an ounce to about one ounce up to about 30 milliliters. And um, with a bottle like this, then you can do more spins and extravagant moves. But with a bottle like this, which is half full, you can't make those spins with the bottle. If you make those spins, you get wet. So you have to learn how to throw the bottle flat. Now we're gonna to get to that in just a minute, so stick around until the end to learn how to throw this bottle correctly. But first I'm gonna show you some simple moves that you can start with using the tools on your bar uh, and also with some bottles, doing some pours and how you can get started with working flair. So napkins and straws are the, the easiest and the simplest way to start because they don't hurt anybody and they won't hurt you. Now I've done a lot of moves using napkins and straws which you can check out up here, um, but I'll show you two of the most commonly used moves. The first one is the napkin spin, which is like this. Now some of you may have come across it, but you can develop this move into many, many different variations uh, and you can upgrade it to something like this, or you can catch it and do a slide like this, uh, or you can come behind your head like this, there's many variations you can use, but the spin is what you want to try and perfect. The move with the straw is normally with these bendy straws. So you want a bendy straw like this. This is a biodegradable plastic straw. And you want to put the straw on your finger with the pointy part facing away from you and you can spin it towards yourself. So you get this spinning motion with the straw. So there's many other moves you can do with all the other tools behind your bar, starting from tin on tin tricks to using your strainer, many different jigger paws, uh, and some of the other tools that you have on your bar as well. I'm just gonna go through a bunch right now so you can see what variations there are. So there's some cool tricks which you can use uh, with some of the other items that you have behind your bar. There is thousands more and we call this craft flare. Now I've done a video on craft flare which you can find out up here. And craft flare is basically a, a form of working flare. But I hear you shout. What about doing some nice pours like you saw with the jigger that I did there? There's other moves that you can do with the bottles which don't involve any throwing of bottles and you can make some nice pouring techniques using jiggers or free pouring. I'm gonna just show you a couple of different pours which you can use, which are my go-to pours. Um, the first one is a, a simple long pour, 
So a reverse pour, which I use the most. The second one is a cross pour, which is a bit more technical to use, but is a really nice pour and can actually help speed up your service. And the final one is what I call the Vegas pour, which looks like this. Um. So the regular to reverse pour is very simple to learn. Uh, you want to get yourself a pour spout on the bottle. And the pour spouts I use are my own pour spouts. They're called the TD10530, which you can get from my shop. There's a link in the description below. Uh, and you want a pour spout on your bottle. You want the pour spout facing the receptacle or the vessel that you're going to pour into. You're going to hold the bottle in this position, just like in a fist. You can come over and make your pour. Now, from this point, you make your cut. You want a clean cut. Now, this is where the tricky part starts. So as you cut, you come across in between the shaker and your body, and you let the bottle go loose in your hands, and you steady it with your fingers. So you go from this grip to this grip, okay? So that you're in this, this position. Now from here, you swing the bottle over, and you point the pour spout into the shaker, and you can make your reverse pour. Now once you've done that pour, you're gonna push down and cut down. So you come over, push down, and cut. So in one fluid motion, fist, pour, down, change position, up, pour, cut. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now the cross pour, which is a lot more difficult to perform, you're still gonna hold this bottle in this same position, but then you're gonna make the V sign. Then you're gonna turn this bottle towards you, almost horizontally, and you're gonna grab that in the V, and your thumb on top, so you have the bottles in a cross. And you're gonna pour with this bottle first, the one which is horizontal. So you wanna swing everything over, you're gonna start with this pour spout. Then when you wanna change, you're basically gonna bounce and twist your hand uh, 90 degrees to pour with the second one. So you twist over, bounce, and then you pour with the second, bounce, and then you let that drop. So when my thumb is, I let go of my thumb and the two bottles come together like this. Okay, the final pour, which we call the Vegas pour, you're gonna start with the shaker facing down and you're just gonna grab it normally and twist it towards you so the back of your hand is facing towards you. Same, same grab of the bottle, you're gonna come over and pour into the shaker. Now from this point, you're gonna bounce and twist the shaker down and aim the pour directly into the shaker. Okay, so to get started with working flare, we spoke about napkins, we spoke about straws, I showed you some craft flare moves, I've given you some links to check out, and I've shown you a couple of pours which I use, which are my go-to pours basically. Now finally, if you do want to learn how to do moves like this, you need to learn how to throw that bottle flat. To throw a bottle flat, what you want to do, we're going to just start simply, hands like this, thumbs down, grab hold of the bottle and hold it next to you. And you're going to make circles of the bottle, okay? Now with this hand, as the bottle comes over here, I want you to grab it with this hand, okay? And it comes over here. Then you can spin back the other way and, and keep doing that from one hand to the other. I'm not even let, letting go of the bottle, I'm just passing it from hand to hand. But as you get more confident, you can let go and try and throw it nice and smooth and that will keep the liquid in the base of the bottle and stop you from spilling anything, okay? Then the more confident you get, you can then throw different positions behind your head, uh, you can throw behind your back, it's all the same. Basically, you don't want to spin the bottle on its axis. If the bottle moves like this, you've got more chance of spilling because if I do this, the liquid comes out. But if I make the bottle go, do a full rotation like this, see the pour spout stays in that position and the bottle moves. Whereas in this way, the pour spout moves and the liquid moves. Working flare is a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite types of flare to use and performed correctly and in a nice way. You'll really impress your customers. You can earn a lot of tips from it. And as I said, you'll have a lot of fun behind the bar performing it. So give it a shot. Don't try and go too far too soon. Let me know how you get on. Uh, and if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. <clears throat> like the little cat like that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and let me know you like it. Let me know in the comments box below what kind of flair you like to do and how far along you are in learning any flair moves and you've got any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can whack that into the comments box below. Uh, and I do read as many of the comments as I possibly can. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate you watching, especially all the way until the end. And until next time, 
I'll see you then. Let's go, Jeff. <laughs>